Mark Ferrari, how are you tonight? Doing great. Participating some MSG, huh? Uh, absolutely, <laughs> man. I've, what, what was the first shaker you heard? The first shaker I heard would have been uh, the, the live album, Strangers in the Night, shortly after it came out in 1979. Uh -huh. Some I, people consider that one of the best live albums ever. Yeah, well, certainly from a guitar player's point of view, it is. Uh, it, it really is a classic. What, what is it about his playing that spoke to you? Well, it's melody and fluidity, and uh, you know, of course, speed. When he wants to be fast, he can be one of the fastest guitar players in the world. And then, then he, then he has a beautiful melodic solo like "Love to Love," which is just very simple, very melodic. You can sing it. So, I, and I think that's really what appealed to me was that Michael was able to say things very succinctly, you know, a, as a guitar player and not have to rely on speed. He had melody, you know. Uh, and I was always a, a big fan of the, the, dual, the dual harmony stuff that he did and the instrumentals. Now, when I was in Kiel, I did a couple of instrumentals on, on Kiel Records. You know, I was I was trying to trying to emulate Michael. You know. Yeah, I mean, what he did with his brother on. You know, Love Drive album and just the, the amazing, you know, uh, UFO records that just still stand up so well. I think they should be required listening for any uh, any guitar player. What was the first UFO you heard? Well, again, again I, probably uh, Strangers in the Night for UFO. Okay. Uh, as far as MSG, they went back. Yeah, and well, out the studios. Yeah, I. Uh, MSG, of course. I got the. I had the first MSG album when it came out in early 1980. You know, had to learn every song off that. Um, what a great logo! Yeah. Huh? The flying V, the letters. And I first met Michael the summer, uh, the spring of 1980. I was over in England visiting a friend of mine, and my friend took me to the Marshall Amp Factory, and Michael was there. And I actually had had my picture taken with him, and I actually brought it here to show it to him again. He said he remembered meeting me. Yeah. That's uh, a long time. 35 years. Band, man. Yeah. That's incredible stuff. And now that, like I say, he's clean, he's sober, he's hardworking, we got three fifths of the Love Drive lineup of Scorpions here. What, is, what, what does that add to the specialness of Oh, uh, it is, uh, it's definitely a unique opportunity to see some of uh, rock royalty together here. You know, these are musicians that, you know, uh, were on some classic albums that really formed, uh, you know, you know, form my musical basis. You know, and a lot of guys my generation. So, uh, it's it's. I'm really excited to see the two Scorps here with uh, Michael tonight. Sure. He said when he left the Scorpions after Love Drive as a little token, he gave Rudolph Holiday and what's the other one? Coast to coast. Coast to coast. I mean, yeah. what what a nice gift, huh? Parting gift. Absolutely. <laughs> so. so what makes his music still contemporary today? Well, I, I think he still has a fire, you know. You listen to his playing, it's it's still hard, it's still aggressive, you know, it still gets the blood pumping. You know, he he's always surrounds himself with great musicians. One of my good friends is uh, Pete Holmes, who, who drummed with Michael, he, formerly from Black and Blue. He's not on uh, this particular tour, but he played with Michael for six, six seven years. So, uh, I so remember when those guys came down from Portland, yeah, opened it for Steeler, which of course morphed into Keel. So yeah, it's all connected. Yeah, I don't need to. Uh, I'll, I'll hit you with a deep one. I was actually the first manager of Steeler. Wow. I managed Steeler as Ingvay came in. Andrew Truman, of course, came in, and then I did some promotion for Alcatraz. So it's all connected somehow. And Mark Bowles is uh, singing tonight with Don Dock, and of course, Mark played with Ingvay too. So, uh, yeah, one big happy family. Yeah, the family tree keeps growing. Yeah. Well, it's great to see you as always. Keep up the good work. I know you did incredible stuff with the, the Master Source, right? Master Source, yes. Incredible. Yeah. I, I, I've been watching your your success over the years, and thanks so much for coming out. Really appreciate the work. You got it. Thank you so much. All right.